The year was 2003 and I was living at the Driftwood Inn in South Modesto, so I was around 10 years old. Most of our neighbors were pimps, hoes, and tweakers. This one day I was sitting down on my bed and I didn't like what was on TV. We had only one TV and it wasn't my turn to watch something, so I was irritated. My mom and two sisters were watching some boring stuff. I was now looking around the room, bored out of my mind. I then looked in my mom's direction and I then told her, I'm going to see if the neighbors are home. My African American neighbors to our right were not tweakers and they had three kids for me to play with. After that, I got up off the bed and I began walking towards the front door. To my left, I was now passing by the old fat television that was sitting on a wooden stand. To my right, I was passing by the other bed. I then twisted the brass doorknob and I quickly opened it. After exiting the room, I slowly shut the door. I can now see the old cracked parking lot and the restaurant that was next to the Driftwood Inn. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the room to our left opened up. A bald guy then tossed out a butt-naked old white lady. The way he had pushed her out of the room made her front of her body very easy for me to view. I was now thinking, damn, what the fuck? She was very skinny and her breasts were so small. She had extremely short hair and an afro of hair between her legs. After getting tossed out of the room, she immediately began banging on the room door. She was yelling at the top of her lungs, You better give me my fucking money. After seeing that, I went right back into our room instead of seeing our neighbor and looking to see if they were home. Once I was back inside our room, I then told my mom about exactly what had just happened. I also told my mom she just had so much hair down there and she was so fucking ugly. I was now looking around the room so confused and I kept saying there was just so much hair. I wasn't upset but I was disgusted because I was an extremely ugly woman. I seemed completely naked. I love this story.